Good morning everybody, it's Miss Evans here. And Mrs Godwin. Are we all ready for another day? I'm going to trick you again today because I'm not going to start at the top. Let's see if Miss Evans can keep up with the actions. I couldn't yesterday. Let's see how clever she is, shall we? Let's trick Miss Evans. You ready Miss Evans? I think so. Oh, well done, Miss Evans. You managed. There's a few more, though. Are you ready? Ooh. Now you're really clever. Can you remember the yesterday? We learnt the new friends together. Two letters. I like to make one sound, and the sound is. Well, well done, done. I well, remembered. Well, well done. Good job, everybody. Just like yesterday, we read a few words with the qu phoneme in it, didn't we? So let's remind ourselves of some of the words that we read yesterday. Put the sounds together. Good job. Let's do that one together. Qu I -z. Quiz. Next word. Put those sounds together. Good job. And together. Qu a -k -k. Quack. Quack. Well done. And the last word. Put those sounds together. Well done. Qu Quick. Well done, everybody. Quick. We did read that really quickly, didn't we? We've got some sentences to read today with the phoneme in it. Now, remember, when we write a sentence, it starts with a capital letter. Well done. And our sentence has a capital letter. It starts with a tricky word. Can you... Mm. Can you all shout out that tricky word to the screen? I think you all know that one. Well done, it says the. Now we've got to use our sounds. Let's read this word. Put those sounds together. Good job. Let's do that together. D a k k duck. duck. So the duck. Done. I, n, in, in the duck in. Oh, it's that tricky word again. What was that tricky word again? Well done. The, the duck in the. Miss Evans, why does that the t look different from that one? Well, because Mrs. Godwin, when this word is in the middle of a sentence. So we can't put a capital letter in the middle of a sentence, can we, anyone, everyone? Oh. So when we're writing a sentence, we only use a capital letter at the beginning of a sentence. Oh, the very I see. first letter. Okay. And that's why that t looks different. Okay. Oh, I hope I can remember that. So we have the duck in the... the what was this word? Read that word. That's got four phonemes in that mm. one. Pond. Pond. Well done for reading that word because that was quite a long word. It's a bit tricky, wasn't it? The duck in the pond. Put those 
say sounds together. What word do you get? Well done. What? E went. went. The duck in the pond went. It's our new phoneme. What sound does this make? Well done. Put those sounds together and the word is. Good job, let's do that together. Qu -ac -c -quack. And there's a full stop there to let us know that it's the end of our sentence. Let's read that sentence all together. The duck in the pond went quack. Well done. Well done. Can you quack just like the duck in the pond? Lovely quacking. Oh, and we've got another sentence here. I can say my name in that sentence. I can, Mrs Godwin. Shall we read it and find out where Mrs Godwin's name is? So now this word here is one of our tricky words, which means we can't use our sounds for this word. We just have to remember it. It starts with a capital letter because it's the beginning of our sentence. And it's a name. So this word here, I'm going to say it first and then it's your turn. So my turn, Mrs. Your turn? That's right, Mrs. So Mrs. Oh, there's a capital letter there. Now remember I said we only have capital letters at the beginning of our sentence. But because it's a name, we also have to have capital letters at the beginning of names as well. So a capital letter at the beginning of our sentence and a capital letter for the name in our sentence. So Mrs. G. These are your sounds. Now that is a very long name. It's a long name. G. Odd. God. W. I. Mm, win. Godwin. Mrs. Godwin. Good reading, everyone. So, Mrs. Godwin. Now we can use our sounds. Well done. A, n, d, and, m, i, s. Miss. That word is good job. A d had. Oh, that's another tricky word. Can you shout out that tricky word for me? Two. Well done, Mrs. Godwin and Miss. Ha had two. Oh, that's one of our new tricky words, isn't it, Mrs. Godwin? Do you remember what that one is? B. Well done. Had to be. I, k, quick. Well done. Mrs. Godwin and Miss had to be quick. There's something not right with that sentence, Miss Evans. I think there's a word missing. I'm not sure what the word is, though. Can you help me at home? If we read it again, can you help me? See if you can think of a word that's missing out of that sentence. We've got Mrs. Godwin. And Miss had to be quick. Get it? Did I make a mistake in my sentence, Mrs. Godwin? There's a word missing. Can you help us? What do you think the word is, everybody? You're absolutely right. Oh, it should be Mrs. Godwin and Miss Evans. Evans had to be quick. Otherwise, it didn't make sense, did it? So, when we read it, we always have to make sure to see if our sentence makes sense. So, it's always good to read over mm. your sentence to make sure that you've done it right. Yeah. And that's what I should have done. Thank you, Mrs. Godwin. We've for missed that word out. That. Oh, well, the children helped us though, so thank you everybody for your help. Okay. Well Do you know, I've just noticed something, Mrs. Godwin. What have you noticed? That the sound qu 
is also in the word queen. It is, isn't it? You're absolutely queen. 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 And the queen lives in London, which is what we're learning this week. Oh, you're absolutely right. So, oh, we might be looking at that word then. Yeah. Queen. Queen. Yeah. Oh, we can have a go at writing that tomorrow, can't we? Queen. Or maybe the children can write it and that show us it. And we can have a look and then we'll be able to write it, won't yeah, we? Yeah, that would be really good. Right, well done, everybody. Good learning this morning. And we'll see you all again tomorrow. So it's goodbye from Mrs. Godwin. And bye from Miss Evans. And we'll see you tomorrow. Well done.